I'd love to return the hospitality of y'all somehow. So if you make it down there, I, my coolest thing I have down there, my best toy, is a 1957 Thunderbird. And it's, it's red with a white top and runs good. And if you'll come in, I'll take you a ride around the block. <laughs> so I think we'll get through downtown rugby as long as it's not at 5 o'clock. <laughs> be okay. But that uh, Thunderbird is, is something you all love to play with. And uh, it's uh, always looking for parts and stuff. Like it's an old car. And my buddy Herb, that I play music with a lot, told me about a junkyard down in Wilkes County, off, off the Blue Ridge down there. And, uh, and he said it's, they've got a lot of parts and stuff for old cars. And I couldn't wait to go down there and look. I mean, I just wanted to look at all those cars anyway. They are junkers. And uh, sure enough, it was a big old junkyard, and they had a bunch of old stuff, and it was really cool. But uh, the only thing is, a lot of grass and weeds growed up in there everywhere. Right down below the mountain, they got copperheads. I was a little bit worried about snakes, but I was being real careful where I stepped and I was looking at those old cars and the old junkyard fella, just go out there and find what you need, take it off and bring it out front and pay for it. That's the way we do it here and I thought that's cool. And uh, I was out there walking around those car cars and I walked right around in front of one of them, right out here, and there was a great big old hole in the ground, a big dark hole. And I wondered how in the world deep that thing is. I couldn't see the bottom or anything and I picked up good sized rock and I tossed over in that hole. Never did hear it hit the bottom. I thought, man, that's a real curious sin. And I looked right over here was a big old transmission that had a shaft out both ends. I told her, you get on that end and me on this, and I think both of us together can lift that thing. We'll throw that in there. We'll hear that hit. <laughs> so that's what we did. We barely could lift it and had to count off one, two, three, give it a toss over in there. We still didn't hear that. And uh and uh, that, uh, you know, I wondered what in the world is going on here. I didn't hear a thing out of that big old transmission. I looked, I heard something behind me, and I looked around. I mean, what I heard was something back there, and I looked around, here come a goat. There's a white goat about that big, heading right at me as fast as he could go, and I didn't know what to do. Now, if y'all have been raised on a farm, you know, you've got a mad goat after you, you've got a problem. And he had, had horns that long, too. And he was coming right at me as fast as he could go. And he got right at me and I sat, sidestepped him and he missed. And that goat went right straight on over there and that crazy goat jumped off in that big, big hole. We didn't hear him hit it. And we didn't know what to do. I was looking at her and wondering what's going on. And here comes the junkyard fell out there to see if we found her part. We had it. And, then, and he said, by the way, have you seen my goat? I said, was he a big white goat about that big with horns that long? He said, yep. Yeah. That, that's him. I said, I saw him, but you won't believe what he did. I said, that goat come and tried to run over me, I reckon. And, and he missed, though. I sidestepped and he missed, and he went and jumped off from that big old sinkhole or whatever that is right there. And he had uh, scratched his head a little bit. He said, I, that couldn't have been my goat. He said, I hit him tight to a big truck transmission. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 